For the professional staff to add um, providers into the portfolio system, they just need to download a list from the placement system and just go into the portfolio to the contacts manager and we'll choose import contacts and we'll put them into the VETS school just press continue and then just the downloaded spreadsheet just copy the names and email addresses so we've only got three because it's just a sample just paste them in press continue give the system some information about what's in what column so first name last name email address and just press continue. So then those uh, providers are in the system um, so evaluations can be emailed to them by either the student or the professional staff. And they'll switch to text entry method. This is if you want to do it in bulk. You can also do it one by one if you've got a few stragglers. Um, they need to in select the assessment instrument they won't see this whole list, they'll just see the vet science information and they can choose a form for, and again they won't see all these lists, just the vet science information. Now they'll need to download a list of uh, students and their supervisors from the placement system and copy that list and just paste it there. I've only got a few. It's just a sample and I'll just click on continue. So it's found all the students and the uh, supervisors are in the system. If they weren't in the system they need to go back and add them in. Click assessments For the external assessor it's very similar to previous, they will receive an email, um, they go in, click on the link to the UQE portfolio, they'll need to enter their email address they supplied to the University of Queensland and there's no password. Um, as you can see the external supervisor will actually have to fill in the information about the placement. Um, also, it's not possible to add a photo to the assessment either and there's very little instructions that you can put in. Again, they've got a marking panel on the side that they can use or they can just go to the full instrument. Oops. You can put comments in here or an overall comment at the end. and they can save. Now unlike the when the student actually uh, sends the assessment to the external supervisor, uh, the marks in this option won't go back to the Grade Centre. They'll only be available in the portfolio system and they'll need to be transferred by the course coordinator to the Grade Centre in Blackboard. As a course coordinator, I come to the portfolio and I can go to assessment results and see a list of the what's been submitted so far. It's got a great search option, so you can narrow that down by date if you just want to see the current ones. As you can see, there's percentages there that have been sent back to the Grade Centre and there's a H there because these results have been held. Um, you can quickly check the work and comments so there and there's comments there and you can release um, the result to the students so they should be able to see the result now uh, by clicking on a link and going in through Blackboard and they'll see the same as this I just showed there. Uh, the other option is you can actually release them all at bulk so there's an option show bulk actions and you can release all the assessment at the same time. For option two where the um, assessment was sent by the professional staff, um, you, uh, 
also can come and have a look at all the results. So you can see these ones haven't actually been completed. The difference is there's no percentage grade and the mark hasn't been sent back to Grade Centre. It's only available here. This also has been set up to be held and it can be viewed the same way as previous and also released together. The other option to view the results is to use a results reporter and save a, a report uh, on whatever information you particularly want to see. So I've come in here, I've chosen a report and loaded it that I've saved previously. So this is for the assessment. Uh, there's only three students marked so far and this can be done with both options. Um, and I've just chosen to show by criteria so there's knowledge. You can see the students and you can see what result they've got for each one. Um, you can also download this to a spreadsheet so it's easier to view. And there's multiple options so we can work with you uh, about what you actually want to see. So maybe you just want to see the comments and the overall result um, and we can get a report, set up a report to show that as well.